Let's talk to Adrian Brown live from Beijing. Tell us more about this operation, Adrian, just how big it is. Well, it's a pretty sizable operation, Jane. One warship is already on its way. Four more will follow. They are leaving a port that's about 18 hours sailing time away from the Vietnamese coast. So they should be, first of those vessels should be uh, docking at a port in the south of the country in the early hours uh, tomorrow morning, the early hours Vietnam time. And then those other vessels will, will arrive in the coming days. Now, the last time we would have seen uh, a large-scale evacuation like this of foreigners from Vietnam would probably have been in 1975, shortly before Saigon fell. And this time there is almost the same sense of urgency. Uh, China really is anxious to get all its nationals out of the country. It's worried that those who want to leave have not been able to do so. 3,000 have already left during the last few days. But I think the government's decision was really prompted by the decision of several airlines to stop flights between uh, China and Vietnam. So sending in the boats was perhaps the most guaranteed, sure way of getting them out. Right, so we've got China sending in boats. We've got attacks on factories. Very strong language coming particularly from China. I mean, how serious an incident is this? Well, we have to remember that Vietnam and China have a shared ideology. They are both communist countries and they both tend to keep a lid on dissent. Now, what we don't know is whether the Vietnamese government was unwilling or unable to control those disturbances, which really turned pretty ferocious and simply got out of control. And slowly they are beginning to contain the situation. But, of course, what the Vietnamese government worries about, as China does when it allows protests to happen, is perhaps those protests turning into anti-government demonstrations. Adrian Brown, live from Beijing. Thanks for that.